Good morning! I am headed to Epcot through the International Gateway from the boardwalk. I had a photo session this morning at the boardwalk and I thought I would take a look at all of the different construction areas around Epcot and see how they're progressing. So, so far, this is a brand new facade that didn't exist before they added Ratatouille. And you'll walk back here to get there. And then this whole area is brand new. And you can see Itty Bitty Gusteau's sign, which is so exciting. And way in the back, all of that, that looks to me like more fake buildings. Like it looks like two dimensional, but they're making it look three dimensional. I'm sure they're not done. Back behind there is the show building, so you can't see it, but it's massive. Hello. <laughs> I found Mickey, I found Minnie. Sometimes Goofy's way up there. Oh yeah, Goofy's way up there right now. This is a pretty good spot to meet the characters while everything's under construction. They're temporarily out here. So last time I was here, um, we were guessing that this is the temporary Starbucks and we were right. It opened just a few days after we left. While everything is under construction here in Epcot, this is the temporary Starbucks location with just an outdoor waiting line. And in much more exciting news, the bathrooms are open. So I just poked my head in there to see what they look like and they're no America bathrooms, but they're good. There's plenty of stalls and it's not huge. Nowhere near as big as like the Tangled restrooms or America restrooms. But compared to having two stalls at the old one that was behind the refreshment port, I'll take it. So the bathrooms are over there. The walkway, you can tell it just changed material. This area has been widened and has been landscaped a bit differently. So. It's really nice and open. I don't know, I just find it beautiful. The like little wavy paths and all the plants. These light posts, those three light poles are really cool. Those are new. Haven't seen them anywhere else in the park yet, but I hope we do, cause they're pretty cool looking. So now we're dealing with the real serious construction here. We're missing the whole building. Club Cool was like over here somewhere and Starbucks was over there. Like this is all come down. Like there was a whole building right here, gone. Figment's right there and there's something going on over here. I have no idea what. It might just be simple landscaping. I don't know, put plants in, make it look pretty. I have no idea. I was just looking over there and now that I'm looking down closer to the land pavilion, there's construction walls down the whole thing. So I'm, I'm not sure what they're doing there. Okay, I'm over here near the Seas with Nemo and friends, and I heard about this new entryway over here, this new exit path. Previously, this would be a dead end, like totally dead end. You go right if you want to go around to Spaceship Earth, even though Spaceship Earth is right there. Now, because of all of the walls creating the bottleneck factor for guest flow, they opened this up which is so interesting and so cool. Feels so weird to see how close you actually are to Spaceship Earth. Before it was just trees here. The furthest you could go here would be right over there to Coral Reef, the restaurant. And then here, trees. See where the red walkway stops and the white starts? Brand new. At least these walls are pretty, right? Could be worse. So I'm not gonna pretend to know which one each symbol is, but each of these symbols represents a different area that will be opening or is already open in Epcot once the construction's complete. Here we are. You can go right over to Spaceship Earth or this dead end, but like you can see kind of backstage, I'm pretty sure you run back here for part of the races. I don't know. The first thing I noticed looking straight across you can see Ellen's Energy Adventure, which is going to be turned into the uh, Gardens of the Galaxy roller coaster. You can see it, which is crazy. You never used to be able to see it. There used to be trees. And I wonder, will they plant more trees? Will they cover it up? Will they make it a walkway from the other side? Like they just turned this into a walkway. Is this walkway staying? Is this walkway temporary? I don't know. So many questions. Pluto is meeting in Greedon right here. And this is now a dead end where you used to go back this way to exit. Um, dead end, they're having you exit around the right side when leaving Epcot. And I just saw like a bulldozer. So this is where the Leave the Legacy Monoliths were. And right over here is the fountain that they are replacing. 
So when exiting Epcot, I'm now on the right side and this is the newly expanded and landscaped side. For a while, this was behind walls and you could only walk on that side and now it's reverse. So this is where there were a bunch of giant stone leave a legacy monoliths and now it's just pretty open, landscaped, looks nice. I just wanted to show you what it would look like if you were entering Epcot from the main entrance since I came in from the back. You come in through here and then you're immediately funneled away from these walls to the left side here. And when they have you exit, they have you exit right through here. I didn't even notice this before. They're blocking you from going on this side altogether. No wonder they need the exit near Living Seas. That's crazy. I can't see much back there behind me, but I did like take a little peek through the bushes and the opening and the whole walkway has been torn up. Um, so I bet they are completely replacing all of the ground and they'll do the same on this side and close off this side and open that side, you know. The art of Disney is closed. This half of Interventions is closed because this whole building is coming down. And you can see over there where the building continued and now it's just missing. And you can see Figment way back there. Cute little Epcot birds. So just like before, the right side of the fountain is completely blocked off so you can't go there. You have to go around the left side of the fountain. Oh, just kidding. You can't even go around the left side of the fountain anymore. They're gonna make you go all the way that way or all the way that way to get to World Showcase. That is crazy. There's a hawk on top of the electric umbrella. Hi, buddy. Across from electric umbrella is where mouse gear used to be. And they are changing it up. They're not removing it. They are refurbing it, which is probably welcome. This is the new mouse gear location. Temporary, I should say. Let's go check it out. See what it looks like in there. It looks to me like they have a little bit of everything. It's just like a really big room that has a very large variety. I'm sure you could find whatever you need still in this temporary mouse gear. All right, now we're looking at the new Gardens of the Galaxy roller coaster, which has been under construction for a while. They haven't really changed much of the outside of this building besides some paint on the uh, orange things. It used to be like a series of warm color shades and now it's just orange. I wonder if that's permanent or if that's getting changed. This is as far as we can get. Let's see if I can see around anything. Hey, check out these new lights. These are beautiful. I kind of like those and sad. New grass. New lights, what else could you need? So this is just a dead end, no sneak peek into the construction work. And then this is a dead end too. Hey, with many versions of those same lights. That's cool. And that's a back entrance to Mouse Gear. If you're looking to pick up your annual pass holder magnet, that's where you go. There's a person on the roof and the sign has the Gardens of the Galaxy characters. And then this one with Wreck-It Ralph that's a reference to what they're turning the Wonders of Life Pavilion into. Back there is the Wonders of Life Pavilion. I'm not sure if we can get any closer, but I'll try. A perk of the construction, they have characters in random places with low lines. If you come all the way up to Mission Space, the exit behind there, that's the Wonders of Life Pavilion, the gold building. So it is all blocked off. You can't get any closer. And with these construction walls over here, it makes me wonder if the Space 220 restaurant entrance will somehow be right here to the side of the building or something. I'm really not sure how you're going to be able to enter that restaurant, but the restaurant is located to the right of Mission Space, to the left of Test Track. I'll go see if I can show you any glimpses of the building. So if you come up to the left of Test Track near these drinking fountains, you can get a good look at the new building for Space 220. That's where it'll be. I don't picture the entrance being all the way over here because that would be kind of too close to Test Track and it's a space themed restaurant. So I would think that somehow the entrance would be right to the right 
of mission space but we will find out this is supposed to open sometime this winter i'm really hoping it opens before we leave at the end of march while everything is under construction they revamped the odyssey building to be the epcot experience which is kind of like a cool little museum type thing to show what's to come it's for epcot's future way. you can take a look in the video that i already took of the epcot experience and you can check out all the sneak previews so the area on the mission space side of future world is kind of a disaster it's really confusing you can totally get lost with all these walls up it's weird i would totally avoid that if you're headed to world showcase go right towards soren and figment and go that way um, towards canada on world showcase i would avoid the left side it's confusing test tracks closed anyway so unless you're going to mission space and then going to the countries i wouldn't take that route so now we're in the world showcase i'm near mexico and i just want to revisit the ratatouille construction for a minute do you see the green building that's just to the right of morocco that whole green building goes all the way behind those trees. That is the show building for the Ratatouille ride. So even though the Eiffel Tower is over there and you'll be boarding to the right of the Eiffel Tower, the show building is way over here. I think I'm gonna call it a day on the construction vlog. We got a good overview of all that's going on right now. And I'll update you as things change. Over because I had people in the cabin with me and I didn't want to be rude and talk to my phone. So you can notice the big green building that I showed you from the other side of the lagoon. It's huge. That's the show building. I was right about these buildings being 2D. They painted them to make them look kind of 3D. Hopefully they're not done because they didn't trick me. You can see through that black thing, you can see the fountain, which is a important part of the courtyard in Disneyland Paris. Though now I look at the space and it seems far more narrow and tiny compared to what they have in Disneyland Paris. So I'm really curious how it'll all pan out when it's all finished. Some imagination, huh?